All right, Vinsky, welcome to uh, tonight's stream. Um, I am uh, right now just uh, trying to get all the players to join this very great server. Uh, welcome, everybody. This is uh, fantastic to have you guys online. So, tonight, first live cast of the ESL Autumn Cup, which means that uh, the players playing on the ESL, the European teams, are going to face off to see who is the best autumn team and uh, obviously this evening will uh, have me at least cast one of the first games between Mortiferus the German team and the Polish team of I am User left your channel. oh my god I just lost my uh, my oh sorry about the small uh, noise well uh, I was just trying to say that I'm not gonna be the only one speaking tonight because obviously my voice cannot hold for this great exciting match but uh, tonight with me I have nobody else than Vinsky Vinsky please welcome to the stream and try to introduce yourself here to uh, our fantastic viewers hello hello it's uh, good to be here today uh, I'm, I'm Finsky and uh, I'm uh, old R2 player uh, from uh, the Finn Wonders and uh, now I'm playing for Kipos in uh, this same cup and uh, also America's are proving grounds yeah well uh, Vinsky it's the first time that you've been uh, casting with me at least and uh, it's a real pleasure to have you here uh, tonight we have uh, two fantastic teams uh, at least in my books it's one of the well, I'd say uh, definitely one of the top four teams in America's army at the moment Multiferous at least uh, one of the top four teams according to the AAPG dash stats uh, that has been a website that's been gathering some information about the different teams and they currently number four uh, it's an ELO rating. Uh, obviously, we haven't had that many competition of such a high level, uh, so that is subject to change. Uh, then facing off one of, uh, I'd say, one of the up and coming team in Articulo Mortis, a Polish team. Uh, Vinsky, uh, I have a clear favorite here tonight. But uh, what about you? What would you say about this? Uh, I think it's going to be pretty exciting match, uh, not only because the map is Inner Hospital, that is pretty defense-based map, and uh, it will be hard time for attackers to try to get the, the flag or all those kills required to finish the one round for them. But uh, also both teams will be pretty equal. Uh, the I am uh, is police-based team, and they are standing uh, on RPG ESL ladder at the fifth position with a record of uh, 13 to 7 and uh, Mortiferous is standing uh, sixth on the same ladder with uh, three wins and three losers on their record so it's gonna be pretty tough match between these two teams yeah definitely it's definitely gonna be uh, two uh, I, f I think it's uh, well Articulo mode or i am is one of the teams that haven't been playing that much uh, competition from the beginning but one of the teams that uh, definitely one of the teams we have to look for um i think uh, vinsky are you ready to join the server right now yeah i'm ready and i'm in the server at the moment all right i am too as well and all the players are almost there um all right, I think uh, I'll just uh, switch over straight so you don't have to look at my pretty face on stream. And then we'll uh, jump right into the game. We'll have the last player that just joined. And as soon as the teams have joined the side, we'll be able to see who of these two teams are going to play here tonight. Obviously, uh, Mortiferous, one of the oldest teams we have here in America's army. Not only America's are improving ground, but just from way back in AA2. In fact, what I can tell you is that in November, they'll have their 10-year anniversary 10 years for a team in online gaming not something that you come by every single day and for that occasion they'll actually have um, an anniversary cup so you can say and that cup is going to be in America's army because that's where it all started and uh, and I'll actually have the player uh, the pleasure of casting it uh, obviously more of that information will come later on uh, I will post it on all the social media if guys you do not join uh, if you're not following me right now you can uh, follow me on Facebook Twitter all that jazz and obviously on Twitch where you are right now but um, before we talk about what's gonna happen in the future we should talk about what's gonna happen right now 
uh, the two teams are talking about what team they should join. And there we go. We have Mortiferous already joining one of the sides. Uh, and then uh, all of the players are almost there. So uh, without further ado, I will try to give you a small rundown of who's going to play where. And then on the Mortiferous team, we have Noblesse, Incomi, Jabba, David Madden, Mystical. None of these players are any uh, unknown to me. And then on the IM side, we have Yuri Boyka, Freigo, Skotsnik, Mozek, and Yakuznik. Just out of the name, you have no. Uh, you have obviously uh, not to wonder where they are from. They, it's definitely not in the French team or in the Danish team. They are obviously from Poland. Uh, but uh, Yuri Boyka, definitely the player to watch. Just new. Uh, who would you say is the player to watch on either team? Uh, I think uh, I, every time I play against Yuri Poika, I'm pretty afraid myself. Uh, he's a pretty scary player, actually. And on Uh I think I saved Yuri Poika. No, but on Matiaferos, the opposite time. Uh, uh, Tero, I'm ex expecting Yappa to be handling great job. Alright, oh, let's go straight to Jabba then. Mortifero starting on Assault and then I am on defense. We're here with Jabba. Jabba running straight to Darko, being very, very aggressive. He meets two players, doesn't get dropped, only loses 20% life. And Mystical is there with him, doing some damage. He actually managed to make it into Dark Room. He loses a lot of his life. He gets a second till Mystical's already dropping two 50% health left. And then you have Jabba. Jabba, uh, Jabba with the flag. Two guys pushing Dark Room pretty strong at the moment. Uh, yeah, so, uh, but Mortiferos gets dropped down. He didn't have much life left. He didn't have the flag. Jabba is there. He gets up a second. Oh, th third kill on Dark Room. Now the rest of. Of uh, Multiverse are actually playing really aggressive. We'll have uh, only three guys left. Noblesse made it all the way through to West Wing. Is in their spawn now. Tell me, Visnu, where are you looking at right now? Uh, I'm looking Mosiak is at the moment and middle uh, middle at the moment that uh, he's watching uh, right through the smokes. Yeah, and still on 100% live. He's kind of the last defense. Whereas you have Yakuznik, where he's on the back stairs here. Trying to see. Well, actually, finding David Matt doesn't get the drop. Yeah, he does so. And now it's a 2v2 situation. Let's go over to Jabba. Jabba gets the kill on Muzik. He runs for the flank, but actually, Noblesse beats him in getting that win. Very, very strong assault from Mortiferous. Uh, very aggressive uh, uh, gaming on uh, Mortiferous. They run straight to the black, black and. Uh, Instantly tried to pick up two guys uh, from I am. Uh, they was uh, surprised. I was very surprised from that aggressive move and almost got uh, two losers, but uh, managed to get away from uh, that moment. Yeah, I'm actually just gonna try to fly a bit up and see uh, who or how uh, how I am is actually setting up. What what was impressing is they lost West Wing where Mosnik. Well, Mosnik was not there, but but they actually kind of lost it really quickly. Mosnik here over West Wing. We'll go quickly over and have a look at the um, at the big main lobby. See how they set up. As you can see here, they have one guy main lobby, two guys dark room, one guy top. That's kind of how they set up. Now uh, the way they defend is really aggressively. Yuri Boyke gets the kill on Mo Mystical. So they're already shutting that push kind of down. Yuri Boyke really trying to move around a whole lot. But uh, what Mortifer is doing is right now is just kind of taking it easy. I think uh, they probably planned that they had to play the first round of Assault really aggressively. Yuri Boyka getting a second kill now. Can he get a third? I uh, know. Income, he gets a kill on the Akusnis. Yuri Boyka is now alone on Dark Room. We've got two guys against on him on Dark Room. Uh, three guys are actually there now. David Mack gets a kill on Froyo. No, Freigo, sorry. Yuri Boyka is still one of those really out, dangerous me. players. Jabba is there facing him. Now smokes are gonna get deployed. Uh, they know he's there. Maybe they. I would actually try to rotate there. David Mad as well. Look at David Mad pulling out four smokes. I didn't even know you could do that on on the ESL Cup. Four smokes, a lot of smoke getting deployed. Reload. Gets the kill on Yuri Boyka. Those that that tactic really worked out for them. 
And now only only two guys on I'm on the jab that gets a kill on, on his own teammate. I don't know if you catch that. I've got contact. Yeah, he was trying to spam through the smoke and uh, uh, David just ran into his fire. Yeah, very unfortunate. But now Jabba is on 9%. But there's only one guy left on the IM side. And that's Mosiek. Or Mosiek, I should say. I'll try, to have a, I'll try to have a bit more of a bird eye view. You have uh, Mosiek here in the middle. And then you have Inkami uh, trying to push him from the center. And then Dark Room over here with Jabba and the flag. Now, for you guys joining, I don't really know what's going on. I mean, the flag that the assault has has to go to extraction point, which is the Zulu objective here. And now, Multifail, second win in a row. Not something that you see a lot. Two wins on assault. You, you can't uh, let the uh, opponent team to pick up uh, two first rounds on a, on a bigger side like uh, this map. Uh, it's pretty huge to lose uh, any round on defense and it can decide the whole the game will uh, end. Yeah, exactly. I completely agree with you, Visney. This is not something you want to do. If you want to start on defense on this map, it's because you want to have, you know, kind of your your game going, you know, it's easier to start on defense, win these important rounds in the beginning, and then, uh, you know, whenever you switch side to assault, then it's where you have to kind of really work for it. But it's also pretty frustrating to lose those uh, first rounds on defense oh, yeah. when you play it first because you know you're gonna go, go gonna have a hard time on us all. Yeah. Now Muzik, first kill. Uh, Muzik was actually playing, I believe, uh, over by West Wing. Gets the first nade kill against Nubles. Well, Nubles apparently your name didn't really work up for that. Well. None of these players are new to the game. Music still over at West Wing. Is he going to try to push up? He has Inkami coming up in his radar really soon. He did see him, but decided to fall back. You don't want to lose that advantage of having the first kill. Now Jabba and Mystical. Still that tag team working together on Darkroom over there. See the two duo working up. There you go, you have Jabba here, and you have the I am over on the opposite side. You have uh, Fry over here, and then on the opposite side, you should have. Uh, yeah, that name is impossible to say. It's Dosnik. I'd go for. I'd, I'd say it's Dosnik. And Yuri Boyka still being kind of the aggressive player, pushing up. He doesn't want to stay back, playing with sound here in the middle. Both teams are now waiting for first time actually in this map. Both teams are waiting for other team to actually try to get them. Yeah, they are not trying to challenge each other. They are just waiting. Yeah, there you go. I mean, now they have that huge numerical advantage. We'll go with the with David Madden and Jabba pushing dark room. They got five players against them. It's really going to be tough. They really slowed it down. That didn't really work out for them. Oh. Flash is getting dropped, and there you go. David Mad is down, getting flanked by Yuri Boyka. Jabba gets the first kill, but Yuri Boyka pistols him down. And that means we uh, it's the first round of winning for IM. Really nice to see. Yeah, it's uh, good to see IM is in back in the game. If they lose one more round on Assault, it's gonna be very, very hard Assault for them after that defense. But, All right. uh, but they managed to get the, get the round that is pretty good for them now just get things going on. Yeah, exactly. I mean, they, they got this early kill by Muznek. Muznek is this guy playing over on West Wing. Like, he's, uh, he's kind of separated from the rest of the team. And he really managed to get that first important kill that just managed to get, you know, to keep the team kind of going because so far what has happened was that they lost the first kill and all it resulted was that, well, Team kind of just uh, fell apart from there. Now Musnek trying to get an, a quick nade kill didn't do any damage, whereas he got hit by 20%. I'll try to go back on the, the Mortifero side. We have Nubles trying to push up with some smokes, at least baiting some nades out of him. But he already dropped his nade. 
Now, if, if we just try to go over here on the dark room where Jabba always Jabba trying to fight with the flag. As you were saying in the beginning, Jabba had kind of a player to watch. Oh, mystical. I missed mystical. Mystical were pushing really aggressively. Actually opened up everything over by dark room all alone. Got two kills. Now I remember, I remember Mortiferous is a team on a soul. Mystical with his third kill on in a row. And Jabba, where's Jabba with the flag? Jabba just got dropped! Oh, that was huge for uh, I am Mash who kind of shut down the flag running. Now Yuri Boyka, all of a sudden being more on the assault side, whereas <laughs> Mortiferous, I mean, I don't know if you see that, uh, that all of a sudden it kind of switched around and you have Mortiferous being on assault and they're on the defense side of the map whereas you have, well, I am being on the assault side of the map def despite the fact being on defense Oh, Yuri Boyka, again a huge kill Now oh, he should he should just take it easy now last man standing for Mortiferous is Mystical he's got 100% health left so that's pretty good for them Mystical kind of just slowed it down. He's only got 50 seconds on the clock. Oh, Yuri Boyke just got dropped. Now, Yakuznik on top of him. He's actually gonna go for the kill. Mystical has the flag. Oh, dodges the nade amazingly close. Now he's gonna look for Yakuznik. Yakuznik is not showing himself up there, which is pretty smart. Oh, and as soon as he just pops up, just shoots off the head of Mystical. It was that, a that was so, so nice run from Mystical. Yeah, it was. I think, what, he got three or four kills? Four, four kills, and uh, where, where he played, he got uh, through on the dark room uh, with uh, those nice smokes, and uh, he actually got behind the enemy lines and uh, managed to pick two easy, two easy kills right after that yeah that's completely correct he really did that that's great all right i want to just quickly do a shout out to my main man james carter thanks a lot for watching brother hope you're doing good over there in the united states of america but let's jump back into the game let's watch mystical i'm actually following mystical now he's the guy that dropped four enemies can he then keep it up unfortunately he lost around nubles gets a quick clear on music that's mean that all of a sudden, West is open. Mystical gets a kill on Yuri Boyka. David Mack on Yakuznik. Means there's only two guys left on IM. And now Fayo is still there. He hasn't heard Mystical being all the way up. Fayo gets a kill. Mystical, the wizard nade. Impressive drop. Now they're bringing back the 5v2 to 2v3. I don't have much life left. Skarsnik still on Darkroom, fighting off with uh, Jabba, I believe. Yeah, Jabba with the flag still. Now it's all up to Skarsnik. Skarsnik drops David Mab. Oh, still gets the kill on David Mab. Unfortunately, incoming got him from the middle. I think it was a bit of a confusing round. How did you see that round? Uh, I saw, saw again uh, what happened in the first round that uh, Motiferus tried very aggressive on uh, Darkroom and the Rus at Inner. Uh, pretty quickly and uh, I was not ready for that. Uh, they was uh, getting their positions. I think they should just try to get it a little bit more passive uh, to keep that dark dark room on control. Because yeah. they lose it uh, instantly after the run started. Yeah, that is very, very true. I mean, they, they just lose it too quickly, kind of every time, right? Indeed. Uh, Okay, let's go with uh, Yuri Boyka here. He's always the one really playing aggressively. I don't know if he should be... I mean, he's one of their strongest players. He should not be playing so aggressively. On the other hand, he really wants to kind of... Yeah, and there again, he gets taken out by Mystical. And David Mac gets on the Akuznik. Fire tries to get the kill. Again, they just don't want to give up that dark room. And then Jabba just gets the nade kill on him. And now two guys left, five guys on Mortifer was David Mad already pushed all the way up on top of Dark uh, on top of uh, gallery. Mozniak or uh, Mozniak gets a kill. Hmm. 
David Matt trying to push down. Let's see Mozek here in a gunfight with Mystical. Doesn't get the kill on him. And actually Jabba managed to extract. It was pr pretty nice smokes. Every player from I am was uh, on the other side and uh, couldn't see anything through those smokes and uh, it was pretty free run. Yeah. So easy flag. But I really think uh, I am sold to take this, this dark room uh, pretty much more passive because they are losing every one versus one in dark room and that's not the way way you are supposed to play in defense because you can just wait to open and run and in your game. But uh, no, they are actually challenging when uh, Mortiferous is just waiting. Yeah, I'm actually gonna go with uh, Yakuznik now. Uh, he's been the one playing up on top. I don't know exactly if he could defend it that well. He's also been playing aggressive. So have all of them. And dropping nades really quickly. Oh, and Yakuznik dodges the nade from David, but still <laughs> Mash gets the kill on him. So that's really good. That means that more or less top is clear. Now uh, Yuri Boyka is right underneath. He's gonna try to see. Yeah, but Yuri has been playing so aggressive there in, in about the arch area and he's been taken down well more or less after the first couple of rounds where he managed to surprise them. Our fire is going to try to get the kill on Nubles. Gets the kill on Nubles. Easy nade. And they just... Got eyes on enemy. What, what happens over in dark room? I don't know if you agree with me. It's like every time they play aggressive like one of them dies and then he, they find themselves playing in a 1v2 situation over by dark room and that's not what you want to do when you're in defense yeah and when you lose dark room you have lost the one one huge point on the map where opponent can easily control the game yeah and, and that's bad that's bad yeah it, it, it really it really is it kind of really open up that area where you cannot just turn you back on dark room. I mean, you, know, you see all the players from I am now are kind of just watching over to dark room, um, not really willing to, you know, let it go. And then you have see now you have Inkami here on top of the arch, looking over by the small uh, front lobby or the, the reception desk, just waiting. I mean, they got three guys, good position. Inkami is kind of on top. Currently, it's. Currently, uh, Multifurious is leading four rounds to two, and they are playing Assault. Now, Inkami has a fight up on top of Gallery. You have Jabba with the flag by uh, by Darkroom, and then Mystical also by Darkroom. So you got one guy on top, two guys by Darkroom, and then you have I am kind of just waiting for them to pop their heads out from there. There you go, Skarsnik get Mystical. Now uh, Jabba's gonna try to uh, get Skarsnik, he knows exactly where he is. He's over there by the advertisement, now we can see it on our screen here by having the HUD helping out. And Freyo gets that easy kill, well played by I am. See, that's exactly what you play, what you're saying, that they kind of just had to wait a little bit more instead of being so aggressive. Indeed, uh, just uh, how I'm did just there is no way to get uh, out from dark room if they play play that uh, possible like they did last round. Yeah, uh, but if th if they rush uh, towards them uh, to dark room, it's gonna be hard to challenge uh, these skilled players like Mortiferous. And that's true. But uh, what I would have liked to see Mortiferous was trying to do a huge rotate. You know, they had kind of top was covered uh, by uh, incoming and then what they could have done was just go all the way through um, through the assault a uh, defense spawn just by going to through west and and then it would really have changed the dynamic on that map as soon as you have dark room as you're saying you just kind of lock down over there but yeah it's always easy to kind of sit back here and uh, and say what they should have done a lot more frustrating when you're actually in the game. Now, Mortifier is playing very patient, patiently right now. You have Inkami in the center. I believe uh, David also in center. Jabba staying back from Dark Room. Uh, Yuri Boyka has been dropped, so uh, it has to be has to count for, for something. But uh, Skoznik, I believe he took uh, top man down. No, Skoznik, I don't know where he got. Well, now two kills, both uh, David and 
incoming. Okay, they're pushing through middle. Now, that's always an interesting tactic to see when you have a uh, mystical and well, David and Incoming trying to push a middle. It didn't really pay out. Now, Nubles is dropping some sm uh, flashes. He's gonna try to push over by West Wing. It's a 3v3 situation. Almost anything can happen. Nubles here trying to rotate all the way through the uh, a defense spawn. Jabba's thing, pretty solid over there by Dark Room, not doing much. And Mortifer is pushing from top. What they're doing now is just like really spreading out, trying to find an angle. And look at that, Yakuznik is up there trying to wait for Mystical. But Mystical gets a kill on Yakuznik, that was really <laughs> impressive. I mean, I believe uh, Mystical didn't have full health potential, he only had 73%. Got hit a little bit. Now open. Yeah. Now the top is open, right? Yeah, it's open. Nubles gets Kuznik. That means there's only one guy left on IM, and that last guy is underneath Archers. Jabba is the one running right now. Is he gonna go for it? Yeah, Jabba is actually. Oh, oh, he's actually stopped up and decided to shoot the guy. Yeah, well, that works out as soon as you manage to aim, and yeah. But 5-3, and that, I believe, is the first round, right? Or first half. Yeah, it, it was it was pretty, pretty strong uh, attack from Mortiferous. I haven't ever seen anyone doing uh, so nice executes like Mortiferous on this attack site. They have really practiced it a lot and uh, have thought a lot about uh, the strategies they were using. And yeah. it really worked out. Yeah, I would have loved to be like a fly on their team speak or their ventrilo, depending on what they're using. Just well, listening at that communication must have been really klasse German. Alright, but on the kill side, you know, you have two guys going up on double digits. No, That's no. uh, Skoznik with 10 kills and Mystical with 10 kills. But yeah, but obviously this map, it's all about coordination. And Yuri Boyke gets the first kill on Mystical. Yakuznik gets a kill on Incoming with the nade. Means that all of a sudden it's I am being five players versus two. Alright, and then you have the same players playing on the same side fire and Yuri Boyke pushing Dark Room. Skoznik staying center and Rosier going over to West Wing. It's exactly what happened. Uh, well, it's basically the same strategy but just <laughs> the opposite way around. Now three players only on defense, it's not a big problem, so it's just because it's so defense favored. Yeah, Kuznik trying to, you know, make something happen over there on top. Uh, you see somebody on the on the stairs, but David Matt just stays put and gets the kill on Yakuznik, which means that now top has been kind of cleared from any I am push, but that's only one death on the I am side. Still four to go. I'll try to fly a bit up here. You have Jabba here playing in the center. Nubles in gallery. And then the last guy is uh, David Mad playing up on top. See up there. Should have pretty much have this locked down. Now Skarsdick are on assault with flashes. Not the thing you want to do. When you're trying to push and get to this big lobby. Skarsnik trying to find Jabba, but Jabba finds Yuri Boyka. Oh, and all of a sudden it came from a 5v3 to a 2v3. Now a 2v2. 2 versus 2 is still possible for Skarsnik and Shiago to make something happen. They don't have the flag though. The flag has been dropped up here on top. David Matt was protecting it, and now you only have one Polish guy left, Fayo, but the flag is above him, he's got 40 seconds left on the clock. Not a position I would like to be in. Oh, and he even gets flashed. He gets the kill on Nubles, though. So what happened? Yeah, he has to make something happen, only 20 seconds on the clock. Does he know David Matt is up there on his left hand side, he's gonna just get shot in the back! And that means that Mortifer has put himself in a 
double amount of random wins compared to I am. Th that was exactly the same tactic Modifarus was using, uh, taking uh, control of dark room and uh, trying to get things going or after that. Uh, it didn't uh, really work quite well on them because uh, um, Modifarus was actually taking it pretty much pass more possible and uh, they actually let the dark room go pretty much more easier. Yeah, well it's all about whenever your defense you have just to get you know, patience going. Now I'm just gonna try to look a bit how they're gonna set up. It's probably more more standard. You'll die. You know you have Nublas over here on the west, and then you got four guys up in the main room. You have David Madden center, two guys by dark room, one guy top. I mean this is the standard way of setting up. Now it's all about how you can execute that standard strategy. I am should know exactly how Multiface is setting up, and despite that. Incoming gets the first kill on Yakuznik. I believe that was over by uh, West. Yeah. Oh, I am really taking it slow. Yuri Boyka, what was Yuri Boyka? Did you, did you see him? Yeah, no, over by Darkroom. Yuri Boyka gets the kill on Mystical. It's kind of been the highlight match of this whole. Uh, the highlight inside match of this match, Yuri Boyka versus Mystical. Two very strong players. Now David Mack gets a kill on Skoznik, I believe that's on top. And that means there's only two guys, two Polish guys left. And these two Polish guys are gonna kind of pull out some magic. Figo being up on top. I don't really see them forcing 2v1 situations though. Now Fire, you knew that would happen. Getting shut down to 11%. That they're gonna have to group up and do something together. Figo has the has the flag though. And uh, they got two smokes as well, so they can try something uh, snaky. Yeah. Got smokes. Now Boyka needs to get Frag a nade kill with Copy, that, reloading. and nothing hits. Now what? Everything that could go wrong has gone wrong right now. Oh, and even Figer drops the smoke on himself. Not really what you want to do. Well, buddy, that's when you pull out the smoke a bit too early. Now you'll see Nubles has been pushing up on West Wing now. Now they have to try to go through Dark Room. Ha! <laughs> Jabba not flinching one bit. Now they know exactly where he is. Oh, Jab against the back to back kill and gives his team a seventh round victory. Yeah, yeah, it was uh, just what happened when Modifier saw I am pushing in on Dark Room. They just let it go and take more passively. And uh, because of that, uh, there was no way to um, keep going on uh, from that Dark Room. Yeah. They were just stuck on there. See, whenever I'm talking about dark room, I'm obviously talking about this room here. It's a bit of a dark room, it's a huge choke point, and it's almost the key to the map. Unless you do something crazy like pushing up. I mean, I'd love to see the, the, the Polish team just trying to, you know, do a, do a top push or something like that. But right now, they've just been trying to spread out and get those lucky kills. But hey, guys, when you have a team as prepared as Multifeo is playing, you know, as strong on every position, it just makes everything a bit harder. Oh yeah, and now I am is taking even more patient, uh, even more passively. And yeah, none of them are pushing anywhere. They want to get that first pick. One thing I always see, one thing I always see, I don't know how we, when you're playing together in uh, in Gay Boys is. Whenever you have like, you know, you breach one angle of the map, you kind of just want to, you know, all right, we, you know, we made a difference over on one side of the map. Let's just try to overwhelm it and just go for it over there. But most of the team is just staying back, say, oh, I know, I'm, I'm, I'm having a good chance of pushing my angle. And you have it, you just breach your angle, so just try to push up. But the defense resp response is always, all right, you know what? We'll just rotate, just tighten up our defense, and then we're, we're good. Give me cover. And there you go. 
Yeah, I think what uh, would be important to, to try to get a top bit for like a, one or two guys now on I am side and just try to he hit some grenades to dark room uh, and the guys who are defending it. Yeah. And uh, that way try to get from dark room uh, to middle area and uh, try to actually get fra flag done. But if you see right now, you have Yuri Boyka, he breached dark room all by himself, you know, he's out there. Fortunately, <laughs> the remainder of his team just got, yeah, kind of naded and dropped a bit everywhere, you know. Okay. Yeah, yeah. If one, one guy died top, one di died on the west wing, and uh, it's just. Uh, yeah, Kuzin one gets a reply kill, but look at that! Oh my god, and that's it! I believe that's GG! Uh, 8 to 3. Oh no, sorry, there's one more round, one more round. They have to play first to. Yeah, first to 9. Am I mistaken? No, it's uh, nine rounds for me. Yeah, yeah, all right. uh, my bad, my bad. ESL rule says that every round must be played on this cup, so I don't know if they're gonna play those map rounds because they have already, if they have already lost. But all right, so at least we'll uh, we'll try to at least have all the rounds being played. That's still that's still fair, especially on a map like in a hospital. I mean, if you start on defense, win all the rounds on defense, and then you get sw switched over, win the first two rounds, and that's it, you know. Yeah. All right, I'm I'm going with Incami now. I mean, he's he's been playing pretty strongly. Oh no, bless double kill over by Darkroom. Wow, everything that could have gone wrong kind of just went wrong there even more than last time. Now, Incoming is just gonna go for it. I mean, you only have one guy left. Skarsnik, a miracle has to happen now. He might get a nade kill there. He does. <laughs> but he gets naded in the back. I believe that's GG and uh, 93. Alright, I think that the I am is actually leaving right now. Well, yeah, and map ended. It was uh, yeah, confident to end uh, when the uh, another team wins. Yeah, I uh, have to agree here. But uh, uh, tell me a bit. So how how was you feeling about this match? You know, uh, I saw. Uh, I am. I have. I'm not uh, so so familiar with this playstyle, but they played uh, defense uh, very aggressive and uh, lost the first rounds because of that aggressive style and uh, I think that uh, actually broke their back and they was not even uh, focusing that much after after those uh, rounds they lost and uh, they ended up losing uh, what was it four rounds on defense and that that's what never should happen yeah on defense if you want to win a match yeah, well, I mean, that's that's the, the typical problem when you have such a strong assault uh, as Mortifer has just showcased. I mean, I, I believe that I am should have known they kind of lost the game as soon as they just switched sides and nothing worked out. But I still want to stress the point that I'm, I want to see teams being able to kind of just, you know, all right, we lost a couple players in the beginning of the rounds. Uh, let's just group up and then push where they're weakest instead of saying all right you know you take west I take dark room we just can't try to make whatever work in either side you know west or east of the map if we try to breach both sides then great you know we, we win the round uh, but that's not sure because with a team like Multiferous they can just rotate back say all right we're just gonna take it easy just as they did I believe in a round where I am got two first picks and then and then we're playing five versus three, and kind of just still managed to really keep it down to the last kill. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, pr pretty hard uh, when when the, you are playing uh, ass assault, and uh, you get the two pickups. I think uh, what you should do is to just try to scout where the opponent is, what the opponent is doing, like where they are hiding, and uh, that kind of things, and uh, not really challenge, but. Uh, just just try to know where they are and uh, when you know like where two guys are and uh, you can just try to get the best angle to kill them and then try get uh, get over with and win the round yeah well without any uh, any doubt Motiferos was the strongest team tonight and um, I think that's uh, that's at least uh, us for here tonight um, 
what's gonna happen now is that uh, I'm gonna play a bit of music and then uh, I hope that you guys are gonna tune in for Sunday. Sunday is a huge match day. I'm gonna cast a lot of things and two games. Uh, if you have not followed me on any social media, well, first of all, shame on you. Uh, you should do that because then you get all the updates about when I go live. And then otherwise you'll also get to know that uh, Lucky13 is going to play versus the Hakapeliti, uh, without mistaking it. Vinsky, how do you say that team? Uh, Hakapelita, it's actually a Finnish team. Exactly. Uh, uh, no, no, it's European team, but yeah. uh, it was a Finnish team and it's a Finnish word they used on their name. So. Yeah, well, these two teams are going to face off on Sunday at half past eight. And then uh, one hour later, we're going to have Nice One versus Tenja Hardcore. Uh, I really look forward, especially for the second game. These two teams, I think, are really, you know, probably very equal skill wise and level wise. So that's going to be a tough, tough match for either team to pull off. Um, Vinsky, I want to thank you very much for casting with me. It was really a pleasure to have somebody else here online. And uh, guys, thanks a lot for tuning in. Obviously, uh, as a co-caster, you get the pleasure of having the last words. Thanks a lot, guys. See you guys next time. Uh, thank you.